diamonds in the rough. NFL Draft Diamonds. Time to shine. with NFL Draft Diamonds, and today I have with me Ifatu Melifonmu, who is one of the top defensive backs in this entire draft class. Um, how's it going, man? I'm, I'm, I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing just fine. Been a long day. Um, looks like you just got out of, like, eating dinner, so um, sounds good. Um, so, uh, hey, man, I think a lot of people have you listed very, very high on their draft boards. Um, I mean, a lot of people, they look at you as one of those top dudes. Um, but I, I guess for those people that don't know you, just kind of walk us through a little bit of your history. Give me like a, I don't know, like maybe a brief summary of your career, if you don't mind. Yeah, so starting in high school, I got my first offer about after my sophomore season. Uh, going into my junior year, I got BC and I got UConn. And then after, after my junior year, I, I got Syracuse. Um, and those were my top three for a while. I decided to commit uh, to Syracuse. Um, first got there in 2017, redshirted the first year. 2018, I was, I was uh, playing some special teams. I was a number two uh, corner. Um, sort of got playing time late late in the season and then um 2019 started started that whole year um and then 2020 obviously started the whole year as well yeah i think 2020 this this entire 2020 season has really been good for you because you can see you went out there you started all those games um and then you ended, ended up at the senior bowl um how was that experience i know that was definitely a good experience you know competing with the best guys in the country um, it, it was a fun, it was a fun weekend to meet all those guys and, and compete and, and finally play again. So I, I feel like it was definitely a good experience. Cool. So, um, I mean, the people that I talked to that I've talked to said that, um, you really, uh, you know, really did a wonderful job out there at the senior bowl on um, kind of, you know, separating yourself to some degree. Um, and, um, I think a lot of people are just kind of wowed that, um, you're able to go out there and, and, and run with almost anybody. I mean, I think that the very first thing that people see when, when they look at you is obviously your size. Um, I mean, I have you listed 6'3", about 212. Is that still accurate, by the way? Yeah, that's still accurate. Okay. Um, so I guess before we get going, I mean, I, I want to acknowledge the fact that you are a student athlete because being a student athlete isn't always the easiest thing. Um, but tell me a little bit about you as a student. I mean, what did you do there at Syracuse, uh, you know, as a student? Um, so I actually majored in economics, um, you know, very, very hard major. So I had to, I had to um, study a lot, stay to my books. Um, I think I was all, I was all ACC academic about two or three times, forget how many times. Um, also, I was in, I was involved in FCA, which is Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Um, yeah, I was saying that, that's really about it. Cool. I have in my notes that you made honor roll three times. I don't know if that was you know uh, all those yeah, years three or not. Times. But uh, um, anyway, um, so yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people forget that um, you know you guys are also students. You got to go out there. You got to go to class. Um, so it's not always easy for everybody. It's very hard to sort of manage your time and everything. Um, but um, let's go. Let's kind of go back to you as a football player um, and you on the field. I mean, uh, when breaking down film, what are scouts going to see of you when they turn on the, turn on your tape? They're going to see a big, long corner that you know can run with anybody. Um, good ball skills and and uh, good man coverage and physical. Great. And I mean, obviously you had a lot of uh, great moments. I mean, that people can view on, on film. Um, tell me about a couple of them. Tell me about maybe your first start and I don't know, maybe like your best moment on the football field. My first start was 2019 versus Liberty. And I, I was just real nervous. Uh, you know, my first start in college, um, you know, going in fall camp, I was just, I was just, 
you know, anxious for my get my first interception. Ended up getting my first interception in my first game, which kind of settled me in and relaxed me for, I feel like, and like propelled me throughout the rest of the season. So, you know, that was definitely a good experience. Most memorable was probably 2018. This is when I got my first real like playing time. The starting cornerback got injured the second series of the game versus UNC. Um, I came in, played the whole game, and ended up with four pass breakups. Awesome. So hopefully, when you get to the uh, get to the league, I mean, you, you, you might get nervous on that first day and getting in, getting an interception. That'd be kind of fun. Yeah. Um, so I mean, uh, we'll we'll see what happens. So that you know the people out there know. Um, so hey, uh, obviously this year, um, this past year, you know, with the pandemic and everything, everything was all wacky for everybody. Um, and you know, I know a lot of, that affected a lot of teams and their schedules. Uh, games got canceled um, for some, you know, organizations. Their complete uh, schedule, you know, was canceled um, for the mm -hmm. year. Um, but um, it did give uh, an opportunity to really anyone in the NCAA, if they wanted to, to come back for an extra season. Um, so why don't you go ahead and tell me, Afatu, I mean, what kind of went into the decision of you actually declaring for this draft? Yeah, so it was a, it was a tough decision, but I feel, like, I feel like I had a real good, consistent year. I proved a lot of things this season. Um, and then ultimately, I had to talk to my mom, talk to my brothers, you know, talk to different agents and see what there's, um, they've heard from scouts and everything. And then on top of that, I also graduated. So, so I felt like it was just the right time for me. Yeah, I think for a lot of people, it's just, hey, I'm done with school. I'm ready to move on. So uh, I, I know that's, that's the way it was for me. You know, at, at some point, like I was just in college for too long. I was just ready to move yeah. on. Um, so mm -hmm. I completely understand that. Um, so I guess the next thing up that really would have been in, in line for would be the combine, which now this year, unfortunately, was canceled. Um, but you do have your pro day. Um, when exactly is your pro day coming up? So right now it's March 19th, but it's not set in stone right now. Gotcha. But I mean, obviously you're, you're somewhere training. Where are you training right now? I'm training at Young Murphy Performance in Tampa, Florida. Gotcha. Um, and what exactly are you, um, what are your expectations with your training kind of leading up to your pro day? Um, my expectations is just, you know, to increase my times, increase my jumps and just, just get better overall and just, um, you know, form good habits for when, for when I make it to the NFL. So, um, I mean, I know you get this a lot, um, and I know some people won't ne don't necessarily want me to compare it, compare you guys, but your brother did a fantastic job at the Combine several years ago, um, completely jumped out of the gym with a 44-inch vertical, and, you know, like, I think he still holds the record for the broad jump at the Combine, which is just amazing. Um, do you guys have any sort of... Um, I don't know, competition right now, like maybe as to how high you might, uh, you know, go in the draft or, you know, of maybe like your pro day times or, or anything. Do you guys um, kind of, you know, have anything going on there? Like a, like a, you know, I, a I feel like this, this, just me being the younger brother, I always want to, I always want to beat my older brother, but vice versa. He, I feel like he doesn't, you know, he won't get mad. Like if I, if I break this stuff, he wants, he actually wants me to go higher than him in the draft. He wants me to break, uh, you know, beat some of his times, beat some of his jumps or be everything. So it's not, it's not really like a, I guess for me, it's a competition. It's a goal to, you know, you know, beat his numbers and stuff like that. But for him, it's like, he, that's something he wants me to do. Gotcha. Well, I mean, um, all power to you, man. I mean, I hope that you do. I mean, it's interesting, actually, because, I mean, he plays safety um, and you actually play corner. Um, yeah. Has, has anyone actually talked to you about possibly playing that safety position? Um, yeah, I've gotten some questions like, would you be open to it or how would you feel? And I, I would feel comfortable moving to um, safety and I would have no problem with it. Gotcha. I mean, I think that I mean, I think, you know, any team's just going to, you know, kind of have that in the back of their mind. 
um, because mm -hmm. you feel like um, you instantly come in and bring depth to the secondary. So, um, you know, depending on the situation, I mean, I've talked to guys that, you know, hey, if you're in that secondary, you always have to be prepared to, you know, roll into a safety or, or, or come inside or do what have you, depending mm -hmm. on the scheme. Um, so I did want to ask you, um, you know, how do you see yourself fitting in at the next level? Um, I mean, is, um, how do you see yourself, you know, kind of projecting? Um, what do you see yourself playing? Um, is there a scheme or, or, or anything that suits you better? I see myself coming in as a corner, just with the ability to be moved around, you know, uh, play, play deep safety, play box safety or, or anything like that. Um, scheme, I don't see, I don't think there's a certain scheme that fits me well. I feel like I do a lot of things well. Um, and I was blessed to have, you know, multiple position coaches and multiple defensive coordinators that had different schemes and philosophies. So I feel like I've done a lot of different things over the, um, over my, my four years at Syracuse. Gotcha. Is there maybe like a player in the league that you would say um, you either model your game after or compare yourself to? I don't think I have a specific player, but there's definitely a lot of guys I watch, different players I watch, Jalen Ramsey, you know, Richard Sherman, um, Marshawn Lattimore. Just I like to watch different guys and, and see what they do well and try to add it to my game. Gotcha. So let's just kind of take a step back, you know, talk about who you are, like outside of football. Um, what do people need to know about you other than the fact that you're a football player? Um, I feel like people need to know, like, like you said, I'm not just a football player. I'm actually just, um, I'm a, I'm a humble, I'm definitely a humble guy, personable, um, funny. I feel like I'm definitely like, a, a good person to be around. Um, I feel like I can make I can make friends with a lot of people, um, and I feel like I, I've never really had any any problems with dudes in the locker room or anything like that. I feel like I can get along with anybody. Gotcha. You have any hobbies or interests like kind of outside of football? I mean, um, yeah. where, where like what what would you do like um, you know what do you what will you eventually do? You have any plans like after football that you might end up getting yourself into? Um, well, hobbies definitely video games. I definitely play Call of Duty, you know, um, go out different places with my friends. Um, after, after football is over, I want to actually be a financial advisor for professional athletes and actually use my um, economics degree. Cool. Well, I mean, that's kind of good. I mean, I know that at a lot of these all-star events, they actually do sit you guys down in, a, in seminars and say, hey, you know, you better be careful with that first paycheck. I mean, don't spend it all in one place. Um, because obviously, I mean, it's going to have to carry you a little bit until you find yourself yeah. another job. I mean, very few guys um, outside of football can still maintain themselves, you know, with whatever they obtained in football. So yeah. it's good that, that at the very least you have a plan. I like that. Yeah. Um, any any idea what what you might do, like with that first paycheck? I mean, um, what, what what would be that first, I don't know, major purchase for you? I mean, the first major purchase has got to be a car. And, and what are we driving, man? Like, what's your dream car? Man, um, dream car. Dream car, I'm not too sure. I, I don't really know too much about cars like that. So just maybe a, a BMW, maybe a Mercedes. I don't really know too, too much about cars. Gotcha. As long as it's nice and shiny. I like it. Yeah. Uh, um, so, hey, man, I want to give you the opportunity to just give some shout outs to people that have really helped you along the way. Um, you know, who are some of those people that have just, you know, really impressed upon you, you know, a lot, whether it be family, coaches, teammates? Um, who, who do you want to give a little bit of love to right now? Um, definitely my mom. You know, my mom has uh, sacrificed so much for, for me and my brothers. Um, and just seeing how hard she works inspires me every day. Definitely my, my brothers obviously pushing me, you know, support system. Um, you know, I want to give a shout out to all my Papa Warner coaches, you know, whether Papa Warner coaches, high school coaches, Coach McMahon, whether it was driving me to practice, driving me to uh, college camps and everything. And definitely my all my coaches at, at Syracuse, Coach Babers, um, uh, Coach West, Coach Monroe, 
Coach White, Coach McLeod, all, all the different coaches I've had, Coach E. Um, I mean, I feel like they've really influenced me and, mo and uh, molded me into I am, who I am today. Gotcha. And who is maybe an up and comer there at Syracuse that everybody needs to know of, of you know, for like the next year or so? Uh, Garrett Williams, definitely Garrett Williams. He was the other cornerback um, across from me, number 14. Awesome. Definitely check him out as well. Um, mm -hmm. Hey, I always ask guys this question, even though it is a little corny. Um, give me your why, man. I mean, why why'd you, you know, start playing football? Why do you still play football this day? Um, why did I start? I really started because my, my all my brothers played. So like being a uh, younger sibling, the youngest sibling, I kind of wanted to just do what they do. Um, and then after that first year, I fell in love with it. So obviously the love of the game, um, you know, my why is definitely the love of the game and, and, and my, my mom and just my, my uh, support system, my family, I feel like they just motivate me to keep going. And one of the reasons why I still play the game today. Gotcha. And I mean, I know you sat down with a lot of people over these past uh, month or so, um, you know, guys that have sat you down in interviews just like this. Um, I want to give you the opportunity for one last pitch um, to all those guys. Um, what sort of teammate would they be getting if they took a chance on you and drafted you? A good, uh, they would definitely be getting a good teammate. Um, you know, not really problematic at all. Like I said before, I can really get along with anybody. Um, a reliable, responsible teammate. Um, yeah, that, those, those qualities in terms of a, the teammate. Gotcha. Well, I mean, obviously you bring a lot to the table. I mean, you are the kind of athlete that I feel um, does show a little bit of versatility and what he could bring. I mean, you figure, um, you know, you could roll out and be a safety. I mean, uh, again, given your size, I mean, um, I remember watching a little bit of your film in that, um, you know, you're, you have good closing speed. I mean, your, your tackling is actually really good. I mean, you, you do, you do well-formed tackles. I mean, you're not, careless in doing that which is great um and heck even to some degree i mean even if you bulked up even more i mean you could almost even play a linebacker in some systems if you wanted to um but i mean you figure you can play almost anywhere there in the secondary um so um best of luck to you going you know moving forward i mean i know some team's going to take a chance on you whether it be a uh, first round or, or someday uh, or sometime on that second day i'm sure you're going to be gone um, but uh, best of luck to you moving forward, bud. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Again, this is Ifatu Melifonwu, uh, defensive back out of Syracuse. Uh, definitely check him out.